like archers in a Poland. It is not long before Denmark and Holland fall, crowned beneath the heel of Hitler's lightning war. This is a new type of warfare that waits for no man. Now France finds herself under siege. It is only a matter of time before the combined might of the German army and air force breach her borders. Make no mistake, war approaches Britain with all the force and glory of a storm front. Just the shadows lengthen with the setting of the sun, so too with Hitler's evil spread. He will not stop, he will not rest until every corner of the globe is covered in darkness. We must make ready and steel ourselves for the incoming storm. First of all, I'm not who I say I am. If anyone asks, I'd say I'm Tom Forrester, Flight Lieutenant, 79th Squadron, stationed in France, Canadian National. But it wasn't the truth. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, USA. My father flew in the Great War with the Lafayettes over Verdun. He never talked about it, though, didn't have any photos, and he kept his medals locked away. When Germany invaded Poland, I knew that my turn had come. The German machines were state-of-the-art, and I wanted to see them up close. Canada's part of the Empire and forged Canadian papers were good enough for the RAF. When I left, Dad looked me in the eye and told me I wouldn't find the glory I was looking for. I'm Tom Forrester, Flight Lieutenant, 79th Squadron, Royal Air Force, and I am going to be a hero. Gentlemen, welcome to France. Welcome to the war. The French lines in the Northeast are in disarray. It won't be long before the German front reaches us. By the time they do, we must have established RAF air superiority or they will push us all the way back to the channel. Before the Germans reach us, this is a good chance to send you up on a basic recon sweep and have a look at how you fly. Intelligence has reports of German movement nearby. On the off chance you do encounter the Luftwaffe, engage at your discretion. Be careful, stay alert, and we'll see you at dinner. Once you're moving, pull back on the stick and bring her up. 